In today's video, learn more about data analysts and ways to become one with free Google courses. So what data analysts basically do, very simplified, is they figure out what data means. A data analyst is a professional who collects, analyzes, and interprets data to transform it into meaningful information that can be used to identify trends, patterns, and correlations as well as to address specific business questions or problems. The goal always being finding new ways to improve business and overall business strategy. Now, in order to become one, you need to get familiar with and know how to use certain tools and programming languages that you cannot get proficient in on your own. Right here, this gives a good insight on data analyst skills uh, that will take you to become one, Anything from Microsoft Excel, Mathematics and Statistics, SQL, or some call it SQL databases, data models, web development, to machine learning concepts. Now, some data analysts have a bachelor's degree in math, statistics, economics, computer science, or another quantitative field, but with the right skills and experience, you do not have to have a college degree in order to become a data analyst. And Google can help you a lot with that. Here at Google Digital Garage, you'll find online courses, a range of free learning content designed to help your business or in your career. Now you can learn by selecting individual modules or dive right in and take an entire course end to end. You'll find 160 courses in categories from digital marketing, career development, and data. Click on data and you'll find 61 courses. Now courses to look for here when and just getting started and learning the basics are the following. SQL for data analysis modules 6 hours 30. In this course you'll learn to use structured query language SQL or some call it SQL to extract and analyze data stored in databases. As you can see it is totally beginner and totally free. So you simply visit Udacity and you can start your free course. Estimated time is approximately four weeks. And the skill level you'll need is beginner. Next up is learn Python basics for data analysis in four modules and 12 hours by open classrooms, also beginner and also free. Now, Python is a popular high-level programming language used in various fields, including data analysis, and it is very important that you know your way how with it. So you just visit open classrooms and you start the course. Now, if you really wish to shoot for the stars with this career in data science, you can become a data scientist. Courses to go for in that case are SQL for data science in four modules and 20 hours, data science with Python in 13 modules and eight hours, and data science foundations in short six modules, just one and a half hours long. So it's a comprehensive introduction to data science and analytics landscape. And with this one, after the successful completion of the course, you'll receive a great learning academy certificate. Now, the differences between a data analyst and data scientist, very, very simplified, are data scientist is a more advanced role than a data analyst. So a data scientist typically has a more in-depth knowledge of machine learning algorithms, programming languages, and predictive modeling, while a data analyst deals more with existing data. However, both of these roles are very important in the field of data science. Now, regarding how much you can get paid as a data analyst, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, it reports a median annual salary of $82,360. But of course, everything depends on how much you're experienced. Two to four years of being a data analyst can get you $98,600 and $82 annually. Five to seven years makes you a senior data analyst, $112,593 annually. And eight plus years of experience makes you a principal data analyst, $138,000. $31 annually. You can find more info here at Coursera, articles, how much do data analysts make salary guide. And right here, I found something very interesting. This is a professional certificate Google Data Analytics 
course with the recommended experience being beginner level and it will take you six months to finish it studying 10 hours a week over one and a half million people already enrolled and look at the skills you'll gain here job portfolio data cleansing data analysis sql data edX data calculations r programming data integrity problem solving metadata and they will get you job ready in less than six months no degree or experience is required because it is a beginner level course now I personally know a lot of people who have went with Google courses in order to gain and learn new skills. And I have to be completely honest with you, I have not yet heard of anyone regretting it. Now, it is hard to make time and room for a course you enrolled at and you need to attend it physically. Whether you work uh, for 40 hours a week, uh, you know, five days in the week or you have more control of uh, your working days it doesn't matter because the downside of these physical courses is you pay all of them and you end up attending 80 percent of them and here you have your own flexible schedule you learn at your own pace and you end up learning 100 of what you paid for after you finish it you get exclusive access to career resources upon completion you get a resume review interview prep and career support and you earn an employer recognized certificate from google that makes you qualify for in-demand job titles data analyst junior data analyst associate data analyst and look at the u.s job openings in data analytics and the median u.s salary for data analytics now the google data analytics certificate costs 49 dollars per month on coursera after an initial seven day free trial period and think of it as an investment as you can see all google career certificates are completely self-paced which is what we talked about just a moment ago because you get 100 percent of knowledge in your own schedule at about 10 hours of study per week many learners complete a google career certificate in three to six months and this is a shareable certificate that you can add to your linkedin profile now right here at linkedin you will also find useful advice regarding increasing your chances of getting hired uh, gain specialized skills build a strong network gain industry experience through internships customize your resume and cover letter and you prepare for interviews now remember that job seeking is a marathon not a sprint this is something we all sometimes forget and linkedin is generally one of the best platforms you can go to when you're looking for widening your network and striving for uh, certain companies you want to get hired at and it is uh, just an amazing platform and that applies to any field and look at the number of data analyst jobs worldwide over 10,000 new ones now here at linkedin getting certified for data analysis or data science as a proof of your skills and sharing that with your network and on your profile which is viewed by every potential employer you send an application to is something that can increase your chances of getting hired immensely now if getting hired for a um, company in a long-term position as a data analyst or a data scientist is not something you would prefer you can always work as a freelancer here at upwork if you look for data analyst and you type it with these uh, quotation marks you'll get a 388 jobs found now i typed in this with uh, quotation marks because i wanted to find job listings that contain both of these words data analysts not just data not just analysts because that will waste your time you have some uh, jobs looking for experts intermediate but also entry-level jobs and also another popular platform for uh, freelancer jobs is fiverr and if you look for data analysts here you'll find over one thousand services available and let's take a look at this freelancer right here now he has a three packages basic 
standard and premium with seven days of delivery. Now, all these freelancers set their own rates, their own packages, depending on the service the client needs. Is it basic or is it advanced skills uh, they need in order to get this project done? Now, once you get skilled, certified, and you gain enough experience, you can do the same and you can earn up to 335 euros for your premium package. Now, as with anything, time, patience and persistence is the key. And I really believe these courses right here in today's video are all you need to start. Good luck and thanks for watching.